Hello and welcome to another episode of Tommy Truths. Now, yeah, last week in Tommy Truths we talked about how gentleness leads to self-control. And um, yeah, so in this episode I wanted to follow up from that with a kind of semi-related topic of how empathy relates to self-control. Now this has actually been something that I've um, really just discovered um, very recently, this, this past week, is actually that empathy and self-control are very much linked. And there's actually been research, like scientific research and studies that have proven this. And so um, what, what um, the studies have shown is that the same part of the brain responsible for empathy is also responsible for self-control. And yeah, I think this is really quite fascinating. And I, it also is something that I can resonate with from my own experience is that, um, yeah, in the times of my life when I've felt the least, the least empathetic, the most um, self-absorbed and can't get out of my own head. Those are also the times where I'm the least self-controlled. And that actually makes a lot of sense that self-control and empathy are linked because empathy is, well, self-control in a way is like a form of empathy. It's like you're empathizing, the study sort of described it as empathizing with your future self. And so you're putting yourself in the shoes of the person that you want to become and you're thinking, oh, how can I best serve that person? How can I um, yeah, be kind to that person who I, who I want to be rather than just thinking about where you're at now and how you can best serve, serve where you're at now? I think um, it very much can apply to who we are in Christ. It's like learning who we are um, learning our true identity and the person that God's creating us to be, that's, that's who we actually are. Our, our destiny is who we are, like we are in Christ. Um, but we also haven't, in a sense, haven't arrived yet because we're being transformed um, from into God's image from one degree of glory to another. And so, um, yeah, it's, I think it's really helpful to think of ourselves, um, not in terms of what best serves us right now, but in terms of like, who we're becoming and letting that person who we want to be almost be like our mentor like for where we are now and so letting the person who we want to become shape the person who we are now and, and letting that be our focus rather than focusing on our current circumstances or current things that we're going through focus on who who we want to be and and get out, get inside the mind of Christ and really putting ping, putting on Christ when we are lacking in self-control, that's often triggered by things like stress, things like anxiety, things like depression. You know, those, those are often the things that lead to a lack of self-control. And um, I think that probably is partly in a related way because it's like when we're stressed, we tend to be consumed by our own circumstances. Um, when we're anxious, we're carrying all our anxieties ourselves. We're, we're thinking, we're mulling over the things that are affecting us, trying to preserve ourselves. Um, and yeah, when when we're depressed, it also can call it, cause us to go very inward focused, and it's very it's a very difficult battle because it's very hard to um, reach out to to others because um, all we can see is our own um, yeah maybe our own failures and our own darkness and things that are going on in our lives and um, things that we, we wish were, were better. And so I think one of the scriptures that really comes to mind is um, in, in one of the Psalms where David says, um, why are you cast down, O my soul, and why are you, de why are you anxious within? It's, it's, now I think this, this Psalm is really, um, really insightful because it's, it's almost like David is mentoring himself. He's saying, hope in God. He's like speaking kindly to himself. And, um, and yeah, I think this is a really, really key um, concept that we, we can also improve it. So how can, how can we encourage ourselves in the Lord? Just a bit of application is, is the, the key to um, self-control is how we can get out of, outside of our heads. And I think that can happen in a number of ways. So I think the first way is when we focus on um, yeah, when we, f we focus on the fact that we do have a Father who cares for us, who loves us, who is compassionate towards us, who, yeah, he, he's just, when, when we know that, um, yeah, oftentimes when we're anxious, 
we need to know that we have a father. We need to know that we have a father who, who knows what we need. And that's often what the scriptures point to in terms of anxiety. Um, and often, instead we try and cope with addictions instead, which never, it's only a temporary solution. It never, never lasts. Knowing that we have a father, I also think reaching out to other people in our lives who can support us in times where we are, um, yeah, just sharing our, our burdens, that can actually be a real encouragement to others where we, we are vulnerable and then we can encourage them to also be vulnerable. And um, yeah, also I think um, reaching out, to, like getting outside of our heads can involve really thinking of the things that other people are going through and empathizing with those things because it's so easy to just get lost in all the things that we're facing that we almost feel like we don't have any energy to um, approach others. But I think that's actually often one of the best things we can do is, is speak to others in, their, in what they're going through. And so, yeah, empathizing is such a huge thing. And so, yeah, hope you enjoyed this Tommy Truths and I'll see you next time.